human believe that we're all creatures of, of habits, right? And um, mm -hmm. there's always that quote, like excellence is a habit, right? So you never try to be excellent. You just try to, you know, have great, excellent habits. Um, yeah. Are there any habits that you have like seen or come upon um, that, like, I think they're called keystone habits that mm -hmm. was in, in the uh, Charles Duhigg wrote about it and, and mm -hmm. like the power of habits. Um, are there like keystone habits or habits that you've seen that are, you know, kind of, if you implement one of them, it kind of is like a enforcer of other positive habits. Does that make yeah, sense? Absolutely. Um, just like in, in your perspective or opinion, or should people really just focus on maybe whatever, you know, one habit at a time and, and don't worry necessarily about like, you know, kind of growth hacking habits, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Yeah, no, the, um, yeah, there's a number, uh, just a few of them that I would mention, I think are the, the most important ones in my life, at least, and that I've, I've been coaching other people with habits, yeah. uh, for years now. And so I've, I've seen it have that effect on them as well. And one of them is meditation. Um, even just a, a short meditation in the morning, just like get up and meditate, concentrate on your breath for two minutes. Um, and that's to me, uh, it opens the door to so many other habits because what you're doing in meditation is saying, I'm not, I'm not going to do anything, but just sit here and watch what goes on in my mind. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you say you're going to pay attention to your breath and then you don't because your mind starts to wander and then you're like, Oh shoot, I was just thinking. Yeah. Um, but, uh, so what you start to see is your mind's first of all ability to wander and do all kinds of crazy things. Um, you also see your urge to like get up and go check your email or whatever it is that you like to do, uh, first thing in the morning. And so you start to see that is like, I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing right now. I'm actually, I have this urge to keep going and doing other things. Mm. Um, you start to see your brain's rationalizations, why it should do things. Um, and you start to see how self like doubt can creep in and uh, cause all kinds of havoc in your mind. Uh, so there's all kinds of stuff. And this is stuff that's happening all day long. We just don't notice it because mm. it's happening behind the scenes. And so all the things that we're doing is influenced by all of that. Um, and so when you sit and just say two minutes um, and sit and meditate, you're actually starting to expose that to the, the sunshine of your attention. Mm. And when you give it that loving attention of sunshine, that it starts to uh, change that process. And it's, it's hard to explain uh, how it changes in the next couple of minutes, but uh, <laughs> basically it's a keystone habit. Um, another one that I like to do, it's also really just another version of this, but it's, uh, I call it unprocrastination and it's similar to, uh, yeah. what, what your friend was saying about getting down and doing pushups. Um, uh, it's, it's like saying, I'm going to sit here and write for the next five minutes. And if that's something that you've been procrastinating on, uh, is writing, uh, then saying, you know, I'm not gonna allow myself to do any other thing right now, but write or just sit here and do nothing. Those are your two choices, right? Okay. And so um, the the real habit then is to, now that you've set up that container, this practice container, I'm going to write or do nothing else, mm. is just start writing. Um, and that's really what you want to do. It's just like just dropping down and doing the push-ups. I'm just going to start writing. And it, it just removes the barriers between yourself and the task that you put up. We often put up all these mental barriers, but actually the task is a fairly simple one. It's just you know, move your fingers <laughs> on the keyboard, um, or, or pen and paper if you want to. But the idea is just, just to get into the, the habit of action, just forming those neural pathways. Mm -hmm.